Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome to another episode of the Oak Mountain ACOTS. Well, we just received another five or six inches of snow here in Oak Mountain, and we thought it'd be a great time to give you guys a little update on the capability of the Kubota X1100C side-by-side -side in snow conditions. Stick around. All right guys, so it's not our intention to get stuck today. This is a really heavy machine and I don't want to bury it, but uh, just in case, we've got our uh, We've got our Honda portable winch on the back here. Uh, we've got a shovel. And also, if you get tracks for any side-by-side, -side, they will recommend that you have some short boards with you. Um, and that's just in case you get these tracks down in underneath a log or something like that. You can use them as a ramp to drive back up over the top. So we've even got uh, four of these on back just in case. Okay guys, so we generally get more snow than this. This has been an easy winter for us. But let's take a look at what we're dealing with here for snow, just to give you an appreciation. So there's a crust layer down there. There's probably another two or three inches down below that crust layer. I'm not gonna break through it. But we're dealing with about 12 inches of snow here, um, plus maybe two to three inches, so 14, 15 inches of snow. Not a lot, but uh, a side-by-side -side on wheels is definitely not gonna go through the snow. So let's go see if we can find a hill to climb. See that I struggled to get up over that hill. This machine is like a little bulldozer but uh, with all of these machines if you start to float on the belly pan and you lose your traction uh, then you're gonna get in a mess. So uh, you may have noticed that I had to stop at the bottom of the hill and go from high range to low range. This Kubota X1100C has I think a 25 horsepower diesel engine in it. It could use a few more horsepower. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Anyway it's still a pretty impressive vehicle. Let's go for another ride.
Okay guys, I thought that was a pretty good test. This is probably the steepest trail that we have on our woodlot and uh, not one that we would normally use in the winter time, but I wanted to try it out. And uh, one thing to note is that there's more snow in the woods than there was in the field when we did the depth test. So I wouldn't be surprised if we're pushing 18 inches of snow here. That crust layer on the bottom, the machine is cutting through that and digging that up. And you could see the side by side was digging and hunting for traction. But uh, in low range, there was no stopping it. And you can probably also see where we were dragging the hitch on the machine itself, just to give you an indication of how deep that snow is. But really, I'm pretty impressed with the machine. We're sitting here um, in a totally enclosed cab, just like a half ton cab, really. Um, we've got heat. We've got the radio going. Um, I don't know what else a guy could ask for. Maybe not a high mountain recovery vehicle, but pretty good for Oak Mountain. Backup camera would have been useful there so I could get right in here and not have to pull on this. Anyway guys, if you've been watching our videos, you know that we have a Kubota B2601 tractor with a Craneman hydraulic timber trailer and we like to use it in the woods in the winter time. So we built this homemade drag to keep the trails opened up so we can get back in and work. Now the drag has a cutter bar on it and when we trialed that drag down on the low hitch here, Sometimes uh, the machine would get stuck and it wouldn't pull it because it was holding so much snow back. So until I get a chance to modify the drag and put some sort of a winch on it that will allow me to set the cutter height, I've just added a couple of balls here. So I've got a top ball, a middle ball, and a bottom ball. So for a heavy snow, like five inches of snow, we're gonna run on this middle ball. That's gonna keep the cutters up out of the snow a bit and we're gonna go around and see what it does for a trail. Okay guys, Karen had to go get my old drag buddy Ranger. You can hear him. We'll get him over here and uh, get ready to go. He loves going with the, with the drag. There he comes, my old drag buddy. Okay hey guys, that's going to wrap up this video. Uh, I hope that you liked uh, watching the X1100C go through some snow trials. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Anyways, like we always say, if you like our videos and you want to see more of them, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, share our videos with your friends and family and help us grow our channel, and come on back and check on us often because you never know what the Oak Mountain ACOTs are going to be up to next. We'll see you in the next one, guys.